Okay, let's have an exciting race around the Nurburgring. Let's have a great acceleration, bake the tires, look awesome, and also wonder why everyone in front of us is braking like a madman. Sir, you wouldn't want to brake at this moment, you'd want to accelerate as hard as you can. But, if you're not, I'll be happy to oblige and take the spot. So obviously, I mean, I don't want to criticize here, but you know, I said of course that, um, I guess they don't have a choice but to make it so that the the first lap is super easy, because otherwise, how would I win? I don't have enough time to make up the spots. But uh, really struggling with cold tires here. That's what cold tires do. Uh, cold tires skid the best. Let's just say. So, I believe the two cars ahead of me are a different model, and I don't believe they're really beatable by me. Um, yeah, I, I know so much for believing in myself, but I don't think they are. I, From experience, I've experienced this before, and I'm seeing what's going on, and uh, I don't think I have the power to catch up with them. Um, that's just how it is, and I think that's... Quite typical, you know, in races, like in Formula One, you have these cars that are just, they look, they look all the same, but they're not the same. And, well, uh, apart from driver skill, which would have kept me in the contention here, um, there's nothing much you can do about a car being slower than another car, you know. And here I am trying to go through the other curves, so I let another powerful BMW pass. And I don't think I can make that one either. I think that's the newer model of the older ones that are in front. I'm not very familiar with BMW models. Sorry, it must be a 325i or something. Um, so yeah, this is kind of embarrassing. I've done a very bad life decision. But uh, happily you can catch up on this turn, which, uh, yeah, that's another place where I said, of course, uh, AI is really bad, it's on the, it's on the braking zones that are after a high speed straight. Apparently, the AI doesn't know where to brake, which, which is okay, I mean, I understand they, uh, basically they made the AI so that it would have a certain skill set. And uh, the worse the AI becomes, the less it knows where to break, so, which is, you know, I'll have a weakness in guy. But, uh, yeah, I don't know where to break either, so it all works out, you know? At the end of the day, who cares, it's a game. It's not a game, it's a simulator, oh! Oh, uh, yeah. And in this simulator, I'm able to simulate, uh, what's it called? Like a trail breaking, keeping this wonderful trail breaking, and also I'm able to simulate Drift City to the rescue. Now, I, I break between uh, sign number. I was at sign number two. I think I break later than I thought I did. I'm gonna break between the two and hope that that's right at this patch of grass right here. That was just about right. It was a tiny bit late. But, uh, you know, as they say, um, you know, the AI doesn't know where to break in. So do I not know how to break. Here I just have to practice to get the weight transfer just right so that it's smooth. Because I noticed that uh, looking back at it, the the way the the weight goes around the car, it just kind of wobbles and then um, doesn't quite look correct. So break here, break shift, uh, break shift, down shift. Uh, it is kind of what it is, so that's break shifting. So yeah, break shift down to. To the right gear and uh, break a little early just to keep things on our toes. Ah, don't I love an automatic shifter? Shifts so nicely and easily for you. So, interesting thing factoid about the tires. Um, I discovered by going on track that using tires that are high tread wear but very low quality tires, they'll make a lot of noise. The lower quality the tire is, the higher noise it makes, apparently. But the stickier the tire is, the less noise it makes. And it, you know, don't get me wrong, tires still make noise. They just make less noise, and they only make it 
when you exceed the tire's limits. So, kind of, if you're on a street tire and you hear it squeaking, you're fine. You're fine. You just listen to the squeaking and uh, it'll squeak until it spins. But if you're on a race tire, like a Bridgestone Potenza or a Westlake or whatever, and it starts squeaking, that means you've already started spinning. You've already lost traction. So, uh, what's happening here? I don't know what that was because I braked exactly there last time. That means I'm either losing tires or losing brakes or losing traction. So, something to be aware of. Unfortunately, it also made me lose a lot of time to the guys in front of me. And I'm already hearing that, uh, yeah. See how much better this car accelerates compared to me? I think no matter though, because I should be able to catch him on the braking zone. As I break completely crooked and catch myself. And also don't turn right because I was ahead of time. And also don't shift right because I was not ahead of time. Well. So here's where, you know, lightness and power are compared and contrasted. Uh, it's nice to be light. But when you don't have the power to keep up, you don't have the power to keep up. And what can be also slightly frustrating is if you don't take the right line, you are just getting punished. You get just getting whacked to the ground. Any slight mistake you do, uh, you just die. So, that's kind of it. I'm trying to break with uh, respect to the trail breaking ideas, you know? Doing all that correctly, but... You know, trail breaking is just the idea that if you have weight at the front, you're gonna turn more easily. Because, uh... The, the car is getting pushed down at the front, so it wants to turn more easily because the tires are being ripped to the ground. Whereas, um, and you don't want to transfer your weight from the front to the back too quickly. So you press on the brakes hard at first, and then you gradually ease out of the brakes. So I'm going to ease into the brakes right now because I know that I've been having a hard time with this. Um, corner, specifically, as we definitely proved by what's happened right here. Um, but I was getting excited because I'm getting closer to the guy in front. So luckily for me, this uh, Gray's car at the front of this three back is going slower. But now the only problem is we're on lap four or four, so we're never gonna make any progress. We're on the final lap, and we're gonna stay in frustration and just accept our defeat. <laughs> 